Hello everyone, good morning. My name is Mustafa and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to set, get and how to remove data from a local storage. So local storage basically is a web resource that enables users to store pieces of information or data on the browser. And every modern browser has um, a local storage resource so for instance with firefox if you right click and then you inspect the element and then you come to storage you realize that there is a local storage here but there is nothing set in there you can set one you know manually over here by assigning a key which is the name and a value which i'm going to assign as let's say mercy so this is me setting one locally without necessarily using javascript but let's use javascript to set one to retrieve one and to delete one so first and foremost let's set one because currently inside our local storage it is empty and you may use local storage when you are working on a project like an e-commerce solution where you need to store certain information of a user before sending to um, the server end. For instance, you want to get uh, their details, so their name, their contact number, blah, 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 the country they are coming from. And then maybe on the next form, you want to get their shipping details. And you don't want to be sending this information, you know, in bits. And that when they, they, they provide their personal information, that's their name and their telephone number, blah, 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 then you send it to the server end. You want to compile all this information as one before you send it to the server end. And so you can use local storage for that. Others may use um, cookie for that, but uh, local storage too is great for, for such a um, situation. So let's get into the code and then set one. So to set, data inside a local storage let's call let's define this variable called local because we do not want to be calling local storage every now and then so let's define this variable called local and set it to local storage and then let's comment this and say set uh, data in local storage So to set data in local storage, I'm going to define a, a new variable, or I can choose not to define a new variable and just say local.set. And this is going to first take the key, which is the name. So what do you want to set? So maybe you want to set the person's first name. And then, so this becomes the key. And then we, we assign the value. So what value is that? My name. So if we do this, we save and then we refresh our browser, which is well refreshed. I'm just ensuring that. If we go to the local storage here, you'd realize that the first name, which I did here, is inside our local storage and then the value is equally there. If I change this, from this to Nicole, for instance, and I save this and I refresh our page and I go back to our local storage, you realize that the first name has now changed to Nicole because inside here we change the value, which is the second argument from Mustafa to Nicole, and then the key still remains her first name. So this is one way that you can set um, value inside the local storage. Now, we may want to get the data that we stored inside the local storage. So let's call this get data from local storage. So I'm going to assign this to a variable. So I'm going to call this let get item equals local storage local dot get item, which is right here. 
and we are going to pass in the name which is the key so over here we want the first name because that's the key inside the local storage as you can see here that's the key so when we get it we want to pass it here we want to put it inside this id so we'll say after you get that id put it inside here get item so we are writing what uh, whatever information we get from the local storage onto the DOM so let's refresh this and see there we have it Nicole if I come here and I comment this and I'll comment that and we set a new name let's say Nicole Mercy for instance and we set this new one and we come back here to get it you realize that the value changes you know equally so you see Nicole Mercy here Nicole Mercy there so this is how you go about setting um, local storage and then setting data sorry inside the local storage and then delete and and getting data from a local storage now we may want to delete data so from a local storage so let's say remove data from local storage so we're going to call local dot remove item and then we'll pass in the key again so over here what is the key the key is still the first name over there so let's copy that and let's paste that here and let's hit let's terminate the whole thing refresh and let's inspect to see whether our data inside our local storage is still there we realize that it is gone so this is one way you can you know store data inside your local storage you can also store an object inside your local storage or even an array inside your local storage so i'm going to show you how to go about that in the next tutorial so i'll see you in the next tutorial bye bye